Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel, Tech2 again, and in this video, um, it's going to be about Sunflower Land, so, and uh, we are going to break this video down in three parts. Number one is going to be what all Tire 1 or Tire 2 NFTs are out there for Sunflower Land that is actually going to be very, very useful to boost your farm, because if you're already into the game, you're probably thinking how to boost my farm and all that stuff, so I'm going to show you some of those collectibles that you would actually help you out in boosting your firm farm uh second thing we're going to talk about release of chicken so chickens getting released um chicken is very important <laughs> interesting because uh yes you're waiting for those eggs and all that stuff i can understand that uh but it is also uh continuous spending 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 of uh of the weeds that you are growing so we are going to drop on that also and then we are going to talk about goblin key um and how to get ready how to get your farm ready for goblin wars and all that stuff okay so let's quickly jump into our desktop live scene and talk about um sunflower land uh, and the collectible items that i am talking about so um this is my farm right now and as you can see all my stuff is getting ready um all my beetroots uh, sorry all my radishes uh, just got ready um and as a matter of fact we can do this on stream um the to unlock this 22 beds you already know what you have to do but to grow crops faster these are the items that i would recommend to you and i have been using this that is the reason i'm recommending it for you uh the first things first would be nancy so imagine um yourself Im no uh, it grows crops faster 15 percent faster so i would highly recommend the, that you would get nancy because nancy is pretty important also i would recommend you to get easter bunny um it gives you 20 percent more carrots so instead of like doing every five minutes or anything you can actually keep on harvesting you know like 1.2 um carrots every time you harvest carrots so instead of 22 you are now going to get uh, instead of getting 22 carrots you get 1.2 you get 26.4 carrots. So kind of helpful because every hour, if you're getting four additional carrots, you are making up for uh, a lot of other items. Um, also very important NFT, which is probably right now around three or four bucks. Um, it's going to be Tunnel Mold. Tunnel Mold gives you a 25% increase in stone mine. I would not recommend you Rock Golem. I got hyped up because of my friends over this rock golem situation you know like probably the worst mistake i've ever made was to invest on this rock golem because i thought that this nft would cost me would give me a good value later on i do not know about it but gives you a 10 percent chance to get three times the stone also if i am sure um, i cannot confirm or deny this that their notes were saying different before the golem launch but when it launched it actually showed something else so Rocky Golem, Rock Golem, I will show you the valuation on this is not at all good, even though I spend a lot of resource on this. But definitely consider Nancy, Easter Bunny, Tunnel Mole, and Woody the Beaver. Woody the Beaver is a tire one item. And since our farm is going to be catered for more providing, for providing more resources, not only for the farm, so that we can resell it. Um, these three will come very handy later on when you're trying to resell like woods, stones, or you're trying to get iron or gold, uh, probably, you know, faster. So these will come into play a lot. Now, our second part is how to get chicken unlocked. So at first go to your barn and you will see animals. It will require five SFO for one chicken. Uh, to be got so you can get up to 10 per wallet uh, right now. I'm having nine as you can see so I have nine <clears throat> So what you can do is um, Now to have this unlocked you have to feed this chicken right to feed the chickens You see this tiny goblin up here click on that. It's a goblin farmer um, and it requires uh, Radish pie because radish pie is going to unlock uh, wheat for you. So let's um make the radish pie and i'm going to talk to you about um, why chicken what is your um you know like um what is what how what are you getting out of these eggs and everything because cakes are coming in and apparently cake is another burning mechanic so let's actually harvest this uh this radishes at first 
and let's unlock wheat and then we have to restart the process again so go to kitchen go and select this uh, crafted once you have crafted this and you go to your shop you will see wheat is now unlocked for you right so um, and then I would say that start all over again I had these all for reserve and everything so go to shop go to buy you have nine uh, we nine chicken right you have to feed nine chickens so select 10 probably and then go to radishes select 10 um, now you are at 20 and then you can go for um, I mean I already have carrots so I'll keep on doing my carrots and stuff like that so select 10 they're all 21 hours of wheat and then I will do my regular stuff because I'm going for goblin key also and uh, then the rest will be carrots oh I didn't have enough of carrots uh, well I'll buy some carrots oh, I did have carrots yeah oh those were the okay so yeah and carrots you know like and then later on I can resell some carrots and get to um, radishes and stuff like so you understood the general concept of how to um, you know like unlock this and tomorrow I can feed this nine nine um, you know like uh, nine chickens and I can we have to wait 48 hours to get eggs and those eggs will be again useful for getting cakes and stuff like that so that is how you are going to manage your farm for the chickens and all that stuff okay it's kind of manage managing on this is a little bit kind of tricky because you're just you're just spending all of your resources to build up your farm and build up the level for your farm or anything just curious what's my farm level uh, still level five um, still level five okay um, with that said now um, we are going to enter into the second part which is goblin key now goblin key um, as you can see out here it's written out a hundred red treats makes the workers belly round 20 swings and the trees fall down that means to get a goblin key you not only require uh, go to shop and uh, go to buy and you will see radish um, so you do require a hundred radishes and you would require 20 wood axes so I mean apart from that also you do require remember this apart from this you would require um, I think a t2 or a t3 beaver so you do have to remember this in mind that Woody the beaver is not going to cut it for you you would have to invest on an apprentice beaver or a foreman beaver the prices of that we are going to come up at the end of this video so start working if you want to level up your farm because goblin wars are coming in um, so that's how we do it and then there's a second phase of it for which you would require certain amount of pumpkin I'm gonna make another video for that at first go through this first um, part of it and then on the second part I'm gonna explain it's a month-long event um, so I think you should be okay with this um, it's pretty achievable so by the way this was first day um, it was done by Tekaton. Tekaton found out the you know the riddle riddle was pretty easy um, sometimes the discord is so jammed or there's so much of traffic that you might not get a lot of replies that's the reason you know people like us need to step in um, <clears throat> that was your uh, main goals for this and obviously you're going to go to craft and make sure you have 20 wood access ready now are you struggling to go through all this because it's a huge struggle um, I would recommend you that if you have bought the land for a matic um, and you have been holding off for a long long time to invest something on the game probably perfect time to dropping another 10 matic and that 10 matic would allow you to generate a lot of stuff so your mission number one or your goal number one would be unlocking all of that and unlocking the radish pie and all that stuff also because it's kind of very important that you unlock that with because without that you would not be able to grow wheat and without the wheat you would not be able to feed the chicken so the game is very the, the amount of burning mix on this game just shocks me I just do not know how is this game uh, how is the token price sitting at uh, 
this price today which is 0.15 it was actually 0.13 in the morning but the amount of burning max on this grain is um just just unbelievable you know with this amount of burning max this game i mean somebody needs to do evaluation because sometimes i feel that you know like they're properly not have evaluated and stuff like that because this game is probably one of the biggest games with the biggest burning mech out there. Uh, maybe we are talking about a bearish market, and that is the reason we are seeing 15 cents uh, is the SFL's price. Um, don't know. Don't know. Let's see yearly. Yeah, in yearly, you would see that it is actually right now at the lowest of the in the lowest category they're usually 39 cents per sfo so yeah i mean like all other p2e games this game has also uh died off uh, over time or tr struggling to survive over time but not a bad thing so sunflower land collectibles the nfts that i showed you in the beginning which are very very essential for boosting your farm how much will they cost so at first um let's go and see this tunnel mole um tunnel mole is a basic nft it's only three bucks um three dollar 26 cents if you have the capital you know like this is a good nft but probably not essential uh very much essential will be either nancy nancy is five dollars so 60 to 70 cents i bought it for three bucks nancy is sitting at five dollars 70 so nancy is a very very good um you know like uh, nft to be held up there um as you can see rock golem is just a waste of money because um seven dollar forty cents for the amount of resources i'd spend it's it's not worth it for me to even sell it for seven dollar uh, forty cents so you have to do your research sometimes do not listen to the hype uh, that is all around hype will always be there um and i just got caught up in the hype with uh, one of my friends and we j i just pulled the trigger on that woody the beaver is also i consider it to be one of the essential nfts also uh, right now the prices are ten dollar but prices should be like five bucks or something like that but i don't know why it is ten dollar right now so mm. i mean you can craft them but it's better to buy them rather than to craft them easter bunny as you can see the price is three bucks so very important for growing carrots uh carrots actually has got the highest uh, um doubling actually you get carrots are actually profitable so if you go out here and you s click on carrot it's 0 0.1 to buy and to sell it's 0 0.2 to sell so around about 50 percent profit probably one of the best uh you know seeds out there to invest on uh if you are thinking seriously about playing this game um golden cauliflower prices have skyrocketed for cauliflower because uh this actually gives a boost also so it's not an essential nft or anything but it's good to have golden cauliflower golden egg as you can see right now is also um gives you mystery stuff and all that stuff which is not an essential nft um i don't know why i clicked out of it oh, hold on a second sunflower land collectibles huh yeah and i think that's pretty much it um, basically all you need is nancy and um nancy's or scarecrow even scarecrow is better scarecrow is 35 if you can afford a scarecrow I mean, I would highly recommend you to get a scarecrow. Um, and uh, I mean, just keep an apprentice beaver. Apprentice beaver is 35 bucks. Uh, recommend it also if you can. And uh, this, these all stuff is going to just boost your farm. And obviously, Kubico, I mean, Kubico is very expensive right now. Chicken coop is a, like a one, I think it's thousand bucks for a chicken coop right now. Not required um obviously it's good to have but then it's not required it's not considered as an essential nft and all that stuff so that was all from the channel take a do i hope you guys enjoyed this presentation hope you guys learned something about sfl some tips and tricks of how to attack the game remember this before you jump in all this always keep your roi in the mind the problem with all of these games is that their games their mechanics are built in such a way where there is audience retention um pegxy on my hand if you would say for me doesn't have a lot of retention anymore because i for this i am actually coming back again and again and again and again so this sort of audience retention uh means that the game uh would try to have more burning mechs for you would have multiple reasons for you to spend more money but remember this always roi in the first roi in the beginning do not 
follow the path of your friends who are spending a lot of money maybe they are having a lot nobody tells about their personal you know like um, you know like finances and all that stuff so i hope you guys understood something hope you guys enjoyed this presentation hope you guys learned something for your sfl farm and thank you a lot for joining techadoo i appreciate everybody who is joining in and uh, write down in comments below what else do you want to know about sfl so goodbye